The Fox News and the Republican collaborators are the enemy of America. Die quickly. People come on the air, they insult them as they did me. They, they, they cut off their mics uh, as they did me. They shout at them and interrupt them as they did me. The Republicans want you to die quickly. They even curse at them as they did me. This lobbyist, this K Street whore. Fox News and the National Enquirer are basically interchangeable. All right, I've had enough. I, I keep hearing this. I would ignore it otherwise, but I've had enough. I think I know why Alan Grayson hates Fox News. It is not about Fox News. It is about me. Back to me. Really. These wacky tirades of his have nothing to do with whether we're not fair, but whether in one interview in particular the good congressman was remotely informed with me. I want you to take a look. This is why Alan Grayson hates Fox. He hates me. He remembers me. And he remembers my badgering him a few months ago on this policing CEO pay issue. How far does it go and what pay grade does it start at? This bill only talks about unreasonable compensation. Well, know who's defining unreasonable? Who's bonus? defining unreasonable? Seriously, Neil, are any secretaries getting million dollar bonuses? If so, so please then let me state know. it. Then state it. What is unreasonable to you? Tell me now, what is unreasonable? If you get a $10 million bonus for destroying your company and putting the whole U.S. economy at risk, that's unreasonable. Okay, that, uh, that's you know what, what I would prevents. agree. You know, on that, if you are getting that money and you bought the company under, I'd, I'd sign on to this thing with you, Congressman. That's what this bill does. Well, 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 did you mention the $10 million thing in this bill? What do you mean, by, by number? Yeah. No, because that would say that nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars Did you okay. give me a range? And we are Congressman, not saying that Congressman, is there okay. a range in this? No, the Secretary of Treasury is going to establish the ranges. But do you see where this is going, Congress? I know your intentions are good, but what you're doing here is putting Congress in the role of determining what is okay and what is not okay, what compensation you know, is excessive and what compensation isn't. Who's to say that this $10 million deal. figure, well, you didn't even give me a range. Neil, that's just wrong. We can punish bad people without punishing good people. That's what the law does every single day. You're and not even telling me what does. this law includes, Congressman. No, I, I think I did. No, you didn't. You didn't give me a level and a number. That's all I'm asking. Well, that's for the Secretary of the Treasury to do. We but have you're separation giving him of powers, Neil. We I have know, a constitution. I know, but you're, Congressman, you're giving him carte blanche powers, and you're not even defining what those ranges for those powers are. I think, no, you are, as taxpayers, you are wrong, we have a right Neil. to know what we're writing off on. No. We set the general rules. The executive branch executes on them. That's how the Constitution works. But in the general rules, you're leaving it up to the Treasury to decide what are adequate compensation levels for everyone at that federally rescued company. Lots and you're not of rules even... are like that, Neil. But... We, in the Constitution, we have due process and equal protection. That's all the Constitution says. What's to stop you from just willy-nilly going after any company you damn well please? That's ridiculous. No one's contemplating that. Why don't you ask that question to Tim Geidner? Do you think he's going to say a secretary can make more than, no more than $5,000 a year? I don't That's know. That's absurd. Because, uh, you know what? I, this you know what? is you know, a paranoid fantasy. I will ask him because you don't answer a simple question. We have entrusted in you oversight to make sure these abuses don't happen. Your answer to those abuses is, I'm going to police excessive pay. When I ask you what excessive pay is and how you would define it, you didn't even give me a range. I'm not I told the one you that insulting if we set a number, you are the one insulting Americans who have better stock in thinking that their leaders can do a better job. You're humiliating them, not the crooks you say are running the companies. That's absurd. We're passing a law that stops a bad thing from happening. You're and creating you these parade of horribles that will thing. never happen. All right. I just told you what would happen. But the you bad know, thing the is that and 160 if the gives million me a dollars. Range, if the Treasury gives me a range, God bless him, because I've asked you every which way I know to give me a range. Either you couldn't or wouldn't or felt that you shouldn't. We pay you, Congressman. Act like it. Neil, I'm not the one using profanity on the air. I'm not the one interrupting the guests to, to show incredible rudeness on the air. I'm no, simply you know the one what, trying to answer your questions you know what I'm rude? and make no, I'll America tell you what I'm a better place. I'll tell you what I'm rude to guess. When they don't answer a question, all taxpayers have a right to know. That is when I'm rude. Well, you're being very rude. So be it. We'll have more after this. All right. I said damn, so I guess that's cursing. I'm sorry. But I never cut off his mic.
I went to a commercial. He was done. I was done. But apparently I did create a nut by rudely interrupting a nut and demanding repeatedly a simple answer to a not-so-nutty simple question. How far is too far for a government dictating people's pay? It is a very important question, my friends. The congressman wouldn't say, and that drove me nuts. It almost affected my appetite that night. Fortunately, I got over it. Had I only known I was dealing with a nut, and one who much prefers softball interviews, apparently, or barring that, no interviews at all. So now you know. My friend Bill O'Reilly has his nose spin zone. From here on out, I have something else. A no nut zone. That's the real story behind Alan Grayson. He won't tell you. I just did. That's fair and balanced.